Hello and welcome to Around the Clock. I'm your host, Yolanda Greaves. We are standing outside the new public safety building that is still in progress, and we are here with Michael Herbert, our town manager. Michael, thanks for talking to us today. Yolanda, thanks for having me. Exciting time. So we're standing outside the public safety building. We've seen the beam that sign just go up. How are you feeling this morning about that? Well, it's very exciting. Um, the terms I like to use are cautiously optimistic because we still have to finish this, but you know, this is a really great achievement, a real great milestone for the project. So tell us a little bit, how did we get to this point? I know some people know, but just remind us, how did we get to this? Well, we identified the need for a public safety building back in the 1990s, and so we've been talking about it and talking about it. And really in 2017, we decided to get a, a little more serious about this, and we did a site selection study where we looked at this and another site in town, and ultimately we chose this. Um, and then in 2018, the voters were kind enough to fund a debt exclusion to do a feasibility study and do the preliminary plans for this project. Um, and then ultimately earlier this year in 2021, in January to be exact, uh, the voters uh, funded a, a $30 million debt exclusion to build it. So here we are. It's very exciting. Um, we've seen the beams go up. What's the next step and in like the next three to six months, what will the public see as they're driving by? Well, getting the seal up is a really big achievement and again, a really big milestone. So what happens at this point is you'll start to see the envelope starting to be created on the building. And that's so like during the winter, they'll have an opportunity to work inside and everything and continue construction. So hopefully this is scheduled to be completed in May. Uh, so far, it looks like we're gonna meet that schedule. Again, knock on wood. Um, and then we should see our department start moving in over the summer of 2022 and ultimately be open in the summer of 2022. So very potentially next year at this time we'll be able to have an open house and invite our public to come and, and see this building that they've built and help sponsor for our, our first responders. Yes, absolutely. Just got to keep that vision in mind. So it's very fitting that we're filming and someone reminded me of this. Uh, it is September 10th today and we all know September 11th 20 years ago and it was a day like this so to be able to support and create something like this for our first responders is a great 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 feeling. Um, it, it absolutely is and, and it's, I don't think that moment's lost on any of us. You can see the flag here on the uh, crane, the American flag flying the colors of uh, America as well as red and blue stripes for our police and fire departments. Um, obviously they do work every day that we can't necessarily appreciate um, and certainly September 11, 2001 was uh, just a, a monumental day for first responders everywhere as well as the world. What has been the hardest thing dealing with this project site, with the site specifically? Well, with the site specifically, you know, I would say getting the site has been a little bit of a challenge sometimes, but we have accomplished that. Um, we have had unprecedented rains here um, in Metro West and in Ashland, and so that's presented some challenges from a stormwater standpoint, things that we didn't anticipate, but we've got a good working relationship with our Conservation Commission, so we figured out a way how to handle that and address that. And uh, I would say that's really been the challenging site. Um, you know, obviously it's Metro West, so you're dealing with groundwater and ledge, and, uh, but no more so than any other project around here. Was there more ledge than expected or did, was, had we planned appropriately? So far, it's, it's been a little bit less than expected. Oh. And that's, you know, we did a lot of work at the beginning when we were doing the site selection process to determine just how suitable these sites were. So, you know, it wasn't like we just went on a map and said, okay, this is, this is it, this is where it's gonna be. Um, we had to do some test pits, we had to do a lot of borings. Um, so we had a lot of site investigation before we moved forward. And that informed, you know, our decisions and, and how we were going to, you know, design the building and organize it. Now, as we're standing here and as, as residents drive by, there's this new little building at the front. What is that building and why is it there? So that's called a mock-up. Um, so that gives everybody a sense of what the exterior finishes and what the building's going to look like. Um, it's going to be clad in, uh, I believe, cement fiber, fiber cement siding as well as brick. Um, and so people will get a chance to see kind of like what those finishes will look at on a smaller scale. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up today? No, I, you know, I just really want to thank, you know, the select board and the voters um, and our public safety departments for you know, being patient and at the same time working hard to accomplish this goal. Again, we're not there completely yet, but 
you know, we're well on our way. And I think it says a lot about this community and its willingness to invest in itself and um, invest in our public safety departments. Well, Michael, thank you so much for speaking with us. We look forward to be able to coming back maybe as stuff is going on inside and certainly when we get to cut that ribbon and invite our fire and police personnel into this wonderful new space. Yeah, just got to keep that vision in mind and keep working towards it. So Great. thanks, Yolanda. Well, thanks for watching. We're thankful to Michael Herbert for coming and speaking with us today. Hopefully you find this inform uh, information helpful and informative and we'll look forward to keep bringing it to you.